más chiquito. Vamos. Well, I wanted to explain you the, the, the story about Israel, but uh, Israel now is always together with Romeo, so they're going to be both on the scene, and he is going to try to eat the camera or do something funny. Israel, um, he was the second donkey arriving to the to Donkey Dreamland, also one of the first ones. Come, come, easy. You see, if he Israel, uh, if Romeo goes. He needs to follow all the time. Okay? Isa, just, just a second. I'll explain a few things about you, and then you can go with Romeo. Israel was found on um, Vélez, Málaga, in a very small uh, sort of, not even a stable. It was a place for chickens, so it was a very, very small place, like about two meters um, by side. And uh, he was just uh, being fed with old bread and really rotten uh, vegetables, so when he arrived, he was not in the best uh, state. Uh, the problem with Israel was uh, especially that he's been always alone, so he didn't know how to have any relation with the other donkeys. And this is why I'm very happy that he's found a best friend, because as you know, donkeys, they get bonded and it's forever. So now Israel and Romeo, they are like brothers. They are just always together. So for him, that calms him down and he's actually enjoying, <laughs> enjoying what he's having, um, like, uh, you see? He needs to be all the time with him. If he moves, Israel will go, let's see. Now he's very afraid that Romeo will go somewhere. In those cases, what I want to explain is like, when we find a home for Israel, he will always have to be with Romeo, both of them. We will never separate them. So, in fact, we think we found a very, very nice place, not too far away. Very nice people who want two donkeys. So, probably they're gonna go within two months, more or less, which is what we do. I mean, we, we love all our animals, but uh, we need to find new homes because we need to do new rescues.